All right, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about custom stores, and these are good for managing state, especially when your state starts to grow quite a bit, uh, and it's a good alternative to something like Redux or Vuex. So let's get right into it. Um, here I have a little pet store. You can buy, buy, and then it says sold, and then reset, okay? So here I have make pet store, and that's creating a store with all of these um, pets in it. So, and notice this store, this is like storage, right? This is a pet store. So these are different stores. So I uh, hope that's not confusing. Um, so here we have animal component and then a button that resets. So you'll see here on the pet store, there is a function called reset, which will set all the, set all of these bots to true. Okay, so let's look at the store. So this is the custom store. You can do a write writable or readable, whatever you want. Um, so I import writable, and basically this custom store is built on top of the writable store. So anything that implements subscribe function correctly is a store. And I don't know how to implement that, so I just basically steal it from this writable store. So it's basically um, like extending this writable store to make my own store. Okay, so this writable store pass, uh, will return you these three functions, set, update, subscribe. And the, all three I'm going to also return from my store, because my store is a writable store but it has extra functionality here. Okay, so I've got two functions that I've defined in the store, buy and reset. Buy with the index, we'll set it to buy. Um, and reset, we'll go through all the pets and map them to uh, bot equals false. So you'll see here I'm using this update function. It gives me um, pets, and then I just need to return pets at the end, which will update... Uh, the store, the value of the store, OK? And here, reset, same thing. I'm returning these mapped pets. OK, so let's look at animals. This is just um, using the store. So I have a dollar sign here. And the reason I can still do that with my store, not just because it's a writable store, but because it is um, because I'm returning subscribe here. So if I didn't return subscribe, what would happen? OK, pet store is not a store with a subscribe method. OK, since I'm using this dollar sign here, um, that's making use of subscribe. And I could also update, because I have, or sorry, because I have set in here, I can make a function that um, that uh, sets it directly. So I don't have that here. But for example, I could theoretically right here just say pet store equals this empty. OK, so now there's no pet store because I can set it right here with this dollar sign. OK, this is the dollar sign syntax for stores. Um, if I don't include set, then that won't happen. Then I can't set it from outside. So let's try it again. Pet store equals nothing. OK, store.set is not a function. So it's trying to it's trying to call store.set, but it can't because I haven't returned it. OK, but if I'm not going to do that, Everything's fine. I don't need to set it from outside. Okay, so I'm just calling functions on the store. Uh, so you can play with this a lot. Do you know figure out what works best for you? So if you're going to write a function that just returns something, for example, um, if we want to have a function that returns all of the brown animals, we might have to do something like this. So this is how I do it. Let me know if you know a better way, but. Um, what I do is I subscribe to this store. So updated pets. So whenever the value gets updated, I set my own pets equals updated pets. OK, that way this sort of stays in sync with uh, the value of the writable store. Now, that seems kind of confusing, but um, so this pets here is not the same as this pets, right? This is a pets. This is just pass into update, and then writable takes care of it. So if I do pet sys, sys like this, it doesn't matter because this just disappears. Um, it's never used down here. These are just in functions. So let's say I keep my own personal pet sys subscribed to the value of this store. Then I can write a function um, brown animals and return uh, pets dot filter 
pet goes to pet dot color equals brown. Okay, so that should work. So, um, so basically, since so since my function is basically just like a wrapper around this store, the value of the store is here in this uh, store, right? Okay, and I'm just kind of updating it with these functions. So here, by using subscribe. I have my own internal variable called petsis uh, that is staying in sync with this writable store uh, that I can use. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, if not, leave a comment. Let me know if you know a better way to do this uh, or any questions or whatever. Okay, bye.